Hello everyone, I am Dr. Drupti. Welcome to my channel Enjoy Biochemistry. If you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe. And if you find the content useful, please encourage by liking and sharing the videos. In this video, we are going to discuss a case study on lactose intolerance. So let's begin with the case study. A 37 years old female came to the OPD with chief complaints of nausea and vomiting. With intermittent abdominal cramps, she also gave history of intermittent diarrhea and flatulence associated with similar episodes of abdominal cramps for last 20 days. She also opened the fact that she started taking milk twice a day as a part of her diet plan since a month. On per abdomen examination, the abdomen was little distended with no evidence of abdominal mass. The questions which can be asked on this case study are mention the probable diagnosis and give justification for the same. So this is the condition of lactose intolerance as the patient is having history of consuming milk and she has the symptoms of lactose intolerance like abdominal cramps, diarrhea and flatulence. What is the cause of this disease and explain the biochemical basis of abdominal cramps, diarrhea and flatulence and which biochemical investigations can be done to confirm the diagnosis? How, how can this patient be managed? So now let's find out the answers of all these questions. So now let's see what is this lactose intolerance. It is disorder of digestion. This is a schematic representation of small intestine and the lower portion is large intestine. So when the milk is consumed, means milk containing or any dairy product containing lactose, it is consumed in the small intestine by the action of enzyme lactase. Lactose is metabolized into glucose and galactose. But what happens if this lactase is deficient? If the lactase is deficient, lactose will not be converted into glucose and galactose and it will reach to the large intestine where it is fermented and there is formation of acetic acid which is two carbon metabolites. There will be formation of carbon dioxide, lactic acid, and hydrogen gas and this lactose it is a osmotically active substance that's why it draws water inside the lumen of large intestine and it results in the symptoms like bloating diarrhea abdominal cramps and dehydration and in this in the case we have seen that patient was uh, miss, she presented with abdominal cramps diarrhea etc so let's see what is this lactose intolerance what are the causes? There are two types of causes, primary and secondary. Primary causes, they are severe lactase deficiency, which is seen in the newborn and low lactase deficiency seen in adults. Secondary lactose intolerance is due to low lactase deficiency due to intestinal diseases like celiac sprue and gastroenteritis. As age advances, lactase deficiency can occur. Clinical features like diarrhea, flatulence and abdominal cramps and due to diarrhea, dehydration can occur. So this diarrhea is due to osmotic effects of lactose because as lactose is osmotically active, it draws water inside and due to this water, it is excreted and there will be diarrhea. So it is due to the osmotic effect of lactose and flatulence is due to the fermentation of lactose. How the condition can be diagnosed? This condition can be diagnosed by hydrogen breath test because as we know that hydrogen can be formed by fermentation of lactose and that can be measured in the breath. Stool acidity test can be done in infants and young children uh, because acetic acid, lactic acid, this, this can be measured in the stool. Management can be done by avoiding intake of milk. Live preparation of lactobacilli can be given to the patient and by giving the curds in diet. This is also a similar case study of lactose intolerance where a 30 year old man came to the hospital with complaints of bloating and diarrhea. His eyes were sunken and the physician noted additional signs of dehydration. The patient's temperature was normal and he explained that the episode had occurred following a birthday party at which he had participated in an ice cream eating contest. The patient reported prior episodes of similar nature following ingestion of a significant amount of dairy products. So this is also a case of 
lactose intolerance and it occurs due to the enzyme deficiency that is lactase and lactase is responsible for conversion of lactose into glucose and galactose and as the, this enzyme is deficient the lactose will not be metabolized and it will produce various symptoms like bloating diarrhea and because of diarrhea there is dehydration 